prayer. This is our possession. And come to such a place where we can be able to manifest you as our Father. Manifest you as our Savior. Manifest you as our Helper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, verse 20 in our last verse, the Bible says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh within us. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Now this is the God that we believe in. We pray, we can think, we can imagine, but imagine our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly all those things that you can even imagine or even think or pray. So if you probably you are praying for this, God surprises you with a greater thing. If you're believing God for, I know, a certain thing, God manifests himself in a greater manner because he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all things that you can never even think or even imagine according to the power that worketh within us. So I want us to, to, I want us to make the last prayer and declare, Lord, I believe you that you're able to do every, you know, draw a line as believers and as tribe, tribal people, as in I am a Kikuyu, but I'm also a believer. So where should the church draw the line? To what extent should I be involved in matters to do with culture? And to what extent should I, you know, be involved in terms of scripture? Of course, they say, Mwachamira ni mtumwa, but to what extent should I, you know, be engaged in such matters to do with the culture? Because I think that's why we are also, we are having a, a, a very major problem. So uh, wh to what extent should we draw the line? Um, we begin by defining what is culture. Mm -hmm. Because I think if we, if we lose it in the definition, mm -hmm. we lose it in the implementation. Mm -hmm. Because I believe culture is just a way of life mm -hmm. that people adopt in a specific geographical location based on their uh, common tribe, ethnicity, mm -hmm. and all those. So it's a way of life that people decide to adopt. Mm -hmm. And by that way of life, it shapes their beliefs, it shapes their activities, and uh, they develop some disciplines by which they live. So, we have not, let me just put it this way, mm -hmm. we have already calling the African culture. Yeah. It is the African way of life. Mm -hmm. Okay? But let me introduce something that shall shape maybe the discussion. Christianity is a culture. Mm -hmm. So, you cannot tell me, Nina Chambila, man, from where I sit, I was adopted into a new culture. Not the Jewish culture, but the Jesus culture. Mm -hmm. So, as a believer, I am already within a certain culture. For example, if a girl or a lady is married, mm -hmm to a certain tribe. Assume I'm a Kikuyu lady. Yeah. I be married to a Maasai husband. Now which culture will dominate? What will happen? Mm -hmm. As a woman, I will go and adopt the culture of where I, ma I got married. Mm -hmm. Right. So, as a believer, by coming to Jesus, we are already married to Christ. We are not of our own. So we must now adopt the culture of Christ. Mm -hmm. And the culture of Christ is very clear. There are certain things. Number one, in this culture of Christ, Jesus died for us. So we, there are certain things we are enjoying because of being adopted. Mm -hmm. But you discover, man of God, yeah. there are so many people who are lied to that I am a, a, a Kikuyu Christian. Mm -hmm. When you fight ethnicity, what are we talking about? Shall we bring now Ukabira in, in church, in Christ? I receive a new identity in Christ. Period. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things in the African culture that are good. They are there in the African culture. They are in our Christian culture. Maybe like the culture of honor. Yeah. Honor is both in, is everywhere. 
is a way of life, even to those that do not know God. The honor. Honor must be carried along, despite where we are going. In church, in Christ, honor is there. Mm -hmm. And the Bible has spoken so clear about honor. So, we are not throwing away everything. Now, now Reverend, on that bit of honor, um, a, a quick follow-up question. Um, in our time, we have seen uh, people organizing themselves to go and honor parents, which is okay. I believe just like you've said, it's part of the culture, both in Christianity and the African culture. Honor is something that is universal. So there is this uh, thread in our day where people are going to honor their parents, uh, which is the right way to do it, to, you know, to go seeking a blessing for, from your parents, which is the right way to go because I think you have observed we have, we have, we have got a lot of confusion uh, in our day where somebody is a believer, but they begin to, and, you know, to connect themselves so much uh, in the name of, uh, you know, kukua sawa na watu ilu usionekane ni kama, you know, uh, you are not relating well with the people. Eh? So, so wh how, which is the right way to go about seeking a blessing f from your parents and honoring them without mixing your faith? Because you have seen that's a problem we are having in our generation. Uh, I'll pick from where you have just uh, stopped. I want to go and honor my parents. Mm -hmm. Number one, who is going to honor the parents? It's you. It is me. Mm -hmm. So, because it is the right thing to do, mm -hmm. I'll sit down, maybe with my family or with my wife, yeah. and you say we are going to honor my parents from either side, from my biological parents or the biological parents of my wife, mm -hmm. because all of them are parents, yeah. and they deserve honor. They deserve, I deserve blessings from both, yeah. not just one-sided. Mm -hmm. You know, people think, I'm going to my in-laws to seek for blessing. Mm -hmm. We must now put some difference. Because even my biological, my blessing mostly is in my biological parent. Yeah. But also my in-law have a portion of my blessings because I have their daughter. Yeah. Now, if I decide I'm going to seek for blessing, let me go back to the days of the Bible. Isaac is telling his son, Esau, my son, go and hunt. Whatever you catch, prepare it the way I like. When I'm eat and I'm merry, mm -hmm. then I'll bless you. Yeah. So it was not a collective thing. He was not collecting the whole village because the blessing was not for the whole village. It was for him. It was for Esau. Mm -hmm. In between, Jacob gave in what the father was asking for. Mm -hmm. The blessing disappeared. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to your parents now yeah. to seek for blessings mm -hmm. and you invite the whole community and in this, that doesn't mean you are taking maybe 500,000 mm -hmm. to one of your parents. But 490 is our money. The question is, mm -hmm. Who shall be blessed? It's us, obviously. It is us. We are who give the money. Because at the end of the day, you are not serious about it. Mm -hmm. you, are just, you want just to, it is a show. It is not even a, it's, it's nothing serious. If I want to honor my parents, I may invite you to come and witness. You may come and witness. You may even, but you are not the main prayer. We cannot sit down and we have a committee that is planning what I'll take. Then you discover at the end of the day, to see you So do you mean, Reverend, that you should not form WhatsApp groups? You don't want me to be helped to go and honor my parents. Now, if you're, um, if, who is honoring whose parents? My parents, but I want to now, form a WhatsApp share? group so that at least I can be, you know, boosted, so to say. Let me, let me throw something of the, in this uh, field. Mm. Blessings are not given. Blessings are earned. Mm -hmm. You know these things you say, like, I, I bless you. You know, why is Isaac so categorical? Mm -hmm. Go and bring me, cook for me, and then I will bless you. It's because blessings are not given. Mm -hmm. They are earned. Every blessing has a price. All I'm asking, you form a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. So I give 100K, 
I give 10K, I give something else, going for blessings. Then we bring them in the same basket. Spirituality will not ignore my share in this basket. Mm -hmm. And because it is the parent who is announcing the blessings, but it is the Lord who confirmed the blessing. Mm -hmm. So if the parent will announce the blessing, the Lord cannot be lied to. God knows because God searches the heart. I have seen so many people in our generation wasting their time in the name of WhatsApp group, in the name of committee for blessings. Then at the end of the day, we give you enough money whereby you don't even spend your own money. So, um, so I, should, I, should, I should take what I have and, and, and go and, you know, and honor my parents and receive a blessing. So it's not even a salary with the, the amount, but the aspect of honor. Honor is not measured by how much. Mm -hmm. You may give one million, but you are very mean. You may give um, 100, but you are very generous. Because God does not study our hand. God study our hearts. Mm, you can repeat that again. Yeah. God is not very much taking study on our heart. Mm -hmm. In our hands, I mean the content, yeah, what you're giving. the amount. Mm. God is so much concerned with our heart. There are three entities you cannot lie to. One, you can lie to the devil. He is a constant witness of all your activities. Number two, you can lie to God. He is forever watching whatever you are doing. Mm -hmm. Number three, you can lie to yourself. So the thing is, if we are carrying one million, what is your share of this one million? God knows that you have done nothing. All you are doing is inside exciting the clown, exciting the community, and lying to your parents. That father, you know what, I've labored, I've worked, I've brought this. You are only blessed because of what has costed you. Not what has costed others. So the blessing is not communal. Mm -hmm. It is personal. And that's why Esau lost it. Because by the time Esau is coming, yeah. the blessing is already announced. Because it costed Jacob. So imam by our WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. At times we are not sincere with ourselves. We are just taking our palace for a light. We are stealing the blessing. And you can steal from God. No, you, you cannot steal from God. Now, young man, young woman, new family, mm -hmm. if you want to honor your parents mm -hmm. and seek for blessings, ask yourself one question. What will it cost me? Am I going to lie to my parents that have brought you one million? Whereby it is not your money, it is not your earning. It is not your sweat. It is the sweating of the community. You go home without the blessings. And by the way, you may receive a curse. Mm -hmm. You may receive a curse. So you must be very, very categorical. It is I. It is I, Esau. I went into the field. I chased after the gazelles. I caught it out of my sweat. I slaughtered. And I cooked the way I want. Because there is a way my parent want. Yeah. What you've discovered, all these occasions are even invaded by other people. I know the faith of my parents. I know the, the, their stand. I know what they like. Then you bring the whole community. At the end of the day, there are so many parents who have been irritated by these activities. You come, you are because I gave money. So you're even budgeting. So my parent is born again. Because now there is my the committee in a panga mm. You have no control. So it's not about how much. Yeah. It's about the status of your heart. Mm. So I think you have you have heard that God is not so much concerned with about what you want to buy the space of your parents mm -hmm. in the name of the amount. You know, that's what I'm saying, man of God. I have no problem with inviting everybody. Mm -hmm. Let them come and witness. They may learn. But the thing is. The main person in that occasion is not even you. Mm -hmm. It is the person carrying the blessing. So everybody must be so much concerned that this man, this old man, we must know what pleases him. Mm -hmm. 
So that let me not call all my friends, friends people, you know, you live with them. Because of your age and your, you know, and your, you know, your generation, there is a certain way you have adopted life. But your papa is the village. When people are going to one apartment, dress nicely. Go to the village with a long dress. Because the father in the village wants to release blessing to the son. So you should do what their value system dictates. Not necessarily what you want because you are the one who is going to seek the blessing. Yes. It's not about you. Mm. But if, if you want to be, if it is about you, bless yourself. You mm. have money. What mm. are you looking for? Mm. You know, go seeking blessings is not a way of communicating to your father that your father, you know what? I made money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It's going there and telling parents, all that I have is because of you. So, um, Reverend, what, what, what therefore should be the procedure of the way I'm supposed to go about it? I mean, uh, to, to, so that we are able to correct this error in what people are doing probably without, without uh, information, without knowledge, Probably they are doing it ignorantly, so we need to, you know, to address that and correct it. What should be the right procedure from the very beginning? No, number one, once you conceive the need of going to seek blessing, mm -hmm. and let me put something clear here. Seeking blessings is not an event. Mm -hmm. It should be your lifestyle. Honoring parent is not an occasion. It's a way of life. Mm -hmm. So it is not something you stay 10 years, you have never visited the parents, they have, uh, they have debt with the chemist, they have debt, Yamazua, they have debt. Then you are waiting for five years, you shall bring all your friends, both your kind and otherwise. That is like you are coming to fund mm -hmm. the parents. No, 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 no. Seeking blessings is not an event. It is not an occasion. It is a way of life. This parent should be knowing you are not just coming today. Mm -hmm. I've already experienced you. I have been feeling you. Number two, once you say, I have this one day, I want to go and honor my parents, mm -hmm. and you bring your friends together, the like minded people. Like minded. That's the key word. Mm like-minded people. The people who share your beliefs. The people who shall also not display dishonor in the day of honor. Mm -hmm. And honor is all, even all about how you dress mm -hmm. and how you are dressed. Very, very key. So, the way I dress, when, I'm, when, when I want to go and see somebody that is um, of, um, you know, of great importance to me, there's a way I dress. Yeah, like if the president was to call you today, I mean... <laughs> We, you cannot just wake up and go. Basically, I will not go the way I am. I will go even where possible, where, where funds allows. Mm -hmm. I will be So I bet, because that man and that yeah. that event yeah. is memorable. Yeah. It may be the only thing I have to do in this life. So I prepare one the way I appear. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very key. And that person shall learn honor by the way I look, mm. by the way I present myself. Even this very day, I understand the standards of my parents. Mm -hmm. I understand their standards. Yeah. They have brought me up. Mm. I know their don'ts and their do's. So there are things you, you cannot do. I cannot do. So you said when you, conceive, you only conceive the matter that you want to go, um, understand that it's a it's a, a lifestyle. Number two, you said that uh, you look for like-minded people. Yeah, yeah. Not in the rich. Mm -hmm. You may have the rich who shall come and um, um, create a population in the day of your blessings, mm -hmm. and you lose it. Mm -hmm. it, it it's very possible. Mm -hmm. Very, very possible. So, so, um, so, as much as I would want to have friends with me, it, it, it should be, be it should begin with me. And then I inform my friends that I'll be going to honor my parents on this day. I'm inviting you to, you know, Mukuja Munipereke. So it's, I'm not seeking contributions from them. No. I'm just extending a hand to 
to come and you know be with me. It is common knowledge mm. that like, if I'm taking you, I may contribute. Sure, yeah. Mm. But I believe the money that should um, I contribute mm. is not the money I'll be giving to the parents. Yeah. Maybe a chakura. Mm. Let your friends cook for themselves. Mm. But the money that shall leave your hand mm -hmm. or the gift leaving your hand mm -hmm. to the parent should be that which is your sweat. You know, these matters are spiritual. It may be the only day your parent will pronounce something he will be looking for for, for eternity. Mm. And you may miss it. You may miss it. So people should not take lightly this matter of uh, going to one parent. In fact, kosababu, I think wale wengi to naifanya kosababu wengine wanafanya. It's Good. not something even we are con conceiving. Ni, ni so and so alienda, so I must also go so that they contribute for me like they did for, for them. So we need to be very serious about that, that matter. Let, let me just uh, say, say this, mm -hmm. though it was not part of your question. Mm. I'm going to pay dowry. Good. B before we, we, that's where I want us to come to. <laughs> Thank you so much, our viewers and followers. We are live on Oasis of Love, uh, Moya page, Oasis of Love, Motidi and Richard's Power Talks page uh, on this matter. We are discussing about contending, and today we have a very interesting conversation on contending for your blessings and such matters. I can see uh, you are following. I can see uh, Prince John Minor, you're following. Blessed Wainaina Deliverance Church Moya is tuned in. Thank you so much, man of God. And um, I, I, I can see you still commenting and saying a few things here. And I'm so grateful. Continue commenting. If there's a question, ask. If there's something you want to say, you are most welcome as we continue with this matter. Now, I want us to discuss the last thing. Somebody is saying, ah, you cannot finish up at 8. Please earn some few minutes. Yeah, we are going to do that. We discuss just one matter here that has, has, has come up, and uh, then we'll be almost uh, on our way out of this place. So, Rev, um, so having settled that matter, but, but I know we're going to proceed with that matter. This is not the last time. Yeah. We are here to contend. So there's that, that bit of uh, dowry now. Um, uh, we, we, we can just touch a little bit, scratch the surface for today, and then we're going to go into depth. I've also realized um, people are also creating WhatsApp groups for us to help them to go and uh, you know pay dowry for them in the first place. Should a Christian pay dowry? Um, a very interesting question. Dowry, from my understanding, is mm. all about honor. Okay. This is all about honor. Because now, you know, I, I hear people say, in, our, in one of the African um, um, language, um, kukurana. Yeah, yeah. So when you speak now about that, that's trade. Mm. So it is like we are doing what you can call butter trade. Butter trade, yeah. You are giving me your you are your daughter. I, I I'm give giving you, you cows. Goats. <laughs> so we are, it's like we are equating a human life with uh, with animals. Now, if we follow that concept, mm -hmm. it is a concept that is uh, outdated. That should not be exercised anywhere. And by the way, I should be seeing women demonstrating and picketing, exercising their constitutional right, picketing, demonstrating, <laughs> and all this based on that matter. Mm -hmm. Because when men, you know, the elders sit mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. and they are trying to value how many goats are equal to our daughter. And the daughter is there, learned, graduate, and all this. Then they say, this one is equal to that goat, is um, equal to two cows, is equal to some few things. So what will, what will happen? I'll bring the cows, I'll bring the goats, I'll bring the other things. So what will happen? I've taken goats, so my wife in my house is equal to her certain goods. Mm. If you follow that concept, it's a long one. Mm -hmm. It's a very long way. That one should be all about honor. Honor. Mm -hmm. This parent mm. have really labored. Mm -hmm. Bring up this child in certain 
moral ways mm -hmm. until the, I see this lady mm -hmm. is fit for marriage. Mm -hmm. I should not just go and pick the daughter and go away. Mm -hmm. I should come and recognize and acknowledge work has been done. Then we, 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 we bring our dowry. You know, and I believe, um, though we shall continue maybe discussing this matter, it's a very weighty yeah, issue. Very, yeah. But they should honor. If honoring the in laws is paying dowry, so a Christian should. The question is the how. So, so if, uh, if, uh, if by definition and context we take it as honor, mm. then, and honor is universal, then we should. But uh, there should be no demands. I mean, it, it's, it's like, you know, I'm the one who is coming to honor you, so you cannot demand probably what, what, what I should come with. Now, let, 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 me, let me base everything in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me when you were discussing this matter, yeah. um, that uh, Abraham paid dowry. Mm -hmm. Jacob paid dowry. Mm. I agree with them. Now, biblically, if you look at Abraham, mm -hmm. when Abraham sent Eliezer in the book of Genesis yeah. to go and get a wife for Isaac, mm -hmm. Abraham in his light mind knew we are not going to get this girl from the, from the forest. We are getting this girl from a certain family. Mm -hmm. So he loaded camels and ordered Eliezer. When you find that girl, that lady, that shall become the wife of my son Isaac, when they accept to give you the lady, mm -hmm. you shall give them these gifts. Mm -hmm. Gifts. And the parents of Rebecca mm -hmm. had even released the girl because they were asking Rebecca, shall you go with this man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not about even the parents. Mm -hmm. It is a girl who is being asked here. Shall you go with this man? I love the Kikui version. They ask, No, no, no. Now, then the parent blessed their daughter and released her to Eliezer. Then Eliezer gave the gifts he was given by Abraham. Yeah. The parents never demanded anything. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. let's, let's assume you demand that a cows, ten bulls, mm. all these things. Call it we quantify. We call it um, half a million. Mm -hmm. I can go and borrow that money from a bank. Yeah, sure, you can. And I bring it back. That's not honor. That's trade. When this girl come to my house, mm. we, are, we, we are not equal and you have no right. The cow I have bought in my shed has no right to tell me you know, I will not milk you. I bought you for milking. So some of these um, 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 marital brutality and all this are bathed from these occasions whereby the concept is not well understood. We don't buy a girl. We don't buy a lady. The concept should be honor. If it is about honor, it should be that way. Now, in the days of um, um, who? Laban and Jacob, where dowry is now uh, um, counted, manipulation comes in. Because I don't do it out of joy. I do it out of like a force. It's more of labor. It's labor. Yeah. So Jacob labored for seven years, paying dowry. Did, she, did he get it? He was swindled. Because in trade, ni kuchezeana. Kwa biashara, ni kuchezeana mwenye ataweza mwingine kiyakiri. That's you discover men, we are there negotiating. What are you negotiating? We are negotiating, yes, you are busy 30, ni busy 20. Busy moja ni, ni 2K. Habana, mm. busy moja ni current value. Mm. I mean, so at the end of the day, we may lose the concept of honor. But dowry, should be should be analyzed in form of honor. If I bring five hundred thousand today, and I do all what you wanted, am I becoming part of this family? 
Mimi nitakuwa wa hii familia ama sasa mimi nimepata mali yangu niende. If another thing happened in this family, shall you call me a son? So, so, so our understanding of dowry, if we take it from the side of honor, then a Christian should pay, uh, should uh, go and honor the parents, so to say. And uh, it should be a moment of creating a relationship Good. With, the, with both parties. Because I think this, this issue has brought so much enemies. Like, eh, unaenda unasukuma, unasema na ni tatua hizo vitu zote. And this is my last time kuwa ikufika uku. So I think these things are, are from the Christian perspective, we need to handle them in the right way. So let's let, let proceed with two more questions and then we, we come to a close for today. Um, so this issue is a ya vijana. Wana jipanga kuenda kupereka ndawari and all that. And then we go back again to forming WhatsApp groups na unatuambia tu kusaidia kupeana ndawari. So should that be and... Uh, um, if, 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 if it, it shouldn't be, then how are we supposed to go about it? Now, I said if we lose in the definition, mm. we lose in the implementation. From the, from the onset, this young man is not going to honor. He's going to pay. I'm doing a fundraiser to go and buy a woman. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, buy, if I'm buying, then I need many people. So the parent on the other side, mm -hmm. if the parent is waiting for a day of selling, mm -hmm. so you come and quantify, you come and uh, you know, you know, quantify the value and all these things. So if I'm going to, even let me use the word dowry, mm -hmm. I bring everybody in the village. Whose wife is this now? That should be a community wife. It, it is a community wife. Mm. If I pay 10,000 in the day of your dowry, Without a lot of legal complications, I have a right over that woman. I contributed. I contributed. Mm. He's our wife. We bought him. We bought her. Mm. But if the parent can be my son, you have learned my daughter. This is my daughter. Now, okay. Then you go. Based on your strength, give from your, you know, from... Even in the Kikui tradition, let me go to the African culture. Mm -hmm. It was not the community. Basically, it was a nuclear family. Muzi ali kuwanenda kwa 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 shedi yake, ana toa buzi kada, ana perekia kijana yake. Sio community. It, it was about family. It's about family. If, if they want us to go that way, then yeah. it's supposed to be about family. nuclear family. Tunaenda tunapereka. Lakini like wazab group imehalibu kila kitu. This what is what is happening, Kwa hivyo, uki, uki ni ita, I contribute to one's your dowry, ujua ya vashea in, 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 in your, uki ni kuta kwako usirete mambo mingi. Apana, tukinunua na wewe. <laughs> ni Kama, wetu. <laughs> tukinunua gali ya community, unaweza edesha leo, <laughs> mimi ni edesha kesho. And that's why you discover, yeah. my husband, maybe, maybe for a lady, yeah. imagine your husband talk to your parent, 500,000. And you are aware that his share was 50,000. So the 450,000 mm. was given by other people. Whose wife are you? You are more of others than your husband if you don't really define mm. the dowry thing. So the parents should not throw their children to these problems. Because this problem is not hushed by this generation. It's hushed by the parents. Okay, so just like the issue of going to honor parents um, and seeking for blessing, it should be the same procedure for, for dowry, so to say. Mimi ni jipange na kile ni konacho, and then I inform my friends, nuambie bwana, ni mepato ya mshichana, nataka kuenda kwao. So sisi, on our side, tuamue how to help you. But you cannot make demands and give us Good. a budget on our WhatsApp group. So, what you are giving, mm. you have no light over. You can't even discuss it. You can't come and discuss. Nika kwa ya bulida tu. Nika kwa ya buzita tu. Sui nita kupadia buzita ano. Sui nita fanya nini. Apana. If I give you 3,000, mm -hmm. it's on a friendly basis. Ununue maziwa. Whatever you do it with it is your money. As for me, if you give me, you are giving to me, not to my parents. 
I will take that money. It's my money you are giving to your friend. If it was for me, I would not even mix it with the others. Mm. So that what go to my parents is my sweat. So that I will have full light over the pronouncement of my parents. Can the girl contribute to us, to us that? Um, let, let me so, ask. Why are we paying? You know, I think in 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 Hedus, idioms, it is the girl's parent that yeah, paid hourly. Yeah. Eventually, though we shall handle this one in the future. I, I believe even the girl mm -hmm. should plan on how to go and honor because at a minute pele kwa shule. Hata mimi nili, you know, nili, I was brought up. Kiro ulifanyua pia mimi nimefanyua. Nimefanyua. It should not be one way. Mm. No, no, no. I said, if we miss in the definition, manipulation is inevitable. We must understand. A girl can contribute. You know, at the end of the day, you are not a goat. Nani sisi, ikitu It's our thing. Mm. So if I'm blessed... You are part of the same blessings. Mm. Will I be blessed enough where you can change your Will you enjoy these blessings? Junimesikia vijana wengi wa kikomplino ya sema, wasichana tandi wanaenda kueka wazazi wake, wao pressure, kido wataitisha kijana. Because of, I told you about manipulation. Okay. Is it is straight? No, let, let's put it this way, sir. For the understanding of everybody. If I take my cow, in the market and you are the buyer I tell you this cow is 50,000 what you'll be doing you'll be beginning if you make it to buy 85,000 mm -hmm. you don't have sweetwood anybody it is your beginning power yeah because it is trade mm. so when you are coming together mm -hmm. and the girl is even uh, inciting the parents telling them and mm. we are gonna pay sir is not the problem is not the girl and this girl is not is not a wife this is a knife she is not a wife material this is is not even a wife material mm. this girl, eh, <laughs> is not even a woman <laughs> because you must become a woman first mm. before you become a wife she has not even graduated to be a woman and this woman this 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 girl because it's still a girl. This girl is very dangerous for you to take in the house. Yeah, because manipulation, of course, manipulation is, a, is witchcraft. It's witchcraft. So, Dawali things is a noble thing. Mm. It is something that can bring a lot of blessings. It is something that can change the lives of many people. Mm. But now we are missing a point. Mm. WhatsApp group should not be something if at all we get the right concept of Dawali. Seeking blessings and honoring the parents. Let them pay for their fare. Mm -hmm. And they can even cook for their food. Mm. But in the gift, mm. let's not mix issues. Okay. A parent should be also be very categorical. Son, I'm not blessing you based on what you have brought. Mm -hmm. No, it is not in the amount. It's still the attitude of the it's heart. The I've seen that honor. You have recognized yeah. I have done something. Mm. You have really honored my labor. Mm. And for this, I have a blessing to give you. Mm. One day, um, Saul, the king of Israel, mm. was looking for a day and a way he can kill David. Mm. He tried. He tried. It was yeah. not possible. Mm. One day he saw that David is in love with one of the daughters. Mm. What did Saul say? He said, I will now give David my daughter as a snare. As a, snare yeah. a very serious thing. How will this girl be a snare? David was told by Saul, the father in law to be. Your dowry price is a thousand foreskin of Philistines. Mm. Let me ask a question. And I, I want to be very, very simple. Where was Saul intending to take? The thousand foreskin. Niza motura, ama niza kuongeza kwa sikuma wiki, ama niza nini. The dowry price that Saul was demanding from David 
was a thousand pieces of our skin. Did it happen? Eventually, David released himself. Hmm. And he fought. And of course, I think with many injuries, he brought them. It is the same, same girl that he paid for skin at the expense of his, his life that became a trouble in his life. He almost diverted David from God. Hmm. He mocked him. He never honored David because this was not a wife. It was a snare. Hmm. Parent, don't convert your daughter into an item. Hmm. Don't convert your daughter into a money-making project. Your daughters are not project. They are blessings from God. So dowry should be paid, but the conversation should be the definition and the procedure of the same. It is not a day to pay of, of payback. No. It's not a day of counting. You know, a woman, <laughs> that dowry, it is not an insurance thing. What is about compensation? So are you saying, Reverend, that uh, we can be able to reduce uh, what they call GBV, gender-based violence, by even the way we handle these things, because if if I have gone and have nimesukumwa nikaitishwa hiki nikaitishwa kire, so you mutu akikuja kwangu ana ana uwezo akuniuliza anything I can fight them I can do anything you know so uh, uh, some of these violences we are seeing in marriages and all that could you say they have a root cause in all these things? Sasa kama wewe ni ngombe, kama wewe ni busi, kama wewe ni blanket na godoro. I will not ask my godoro where I sleep on it or not. You know, if we, if we miss the definition, mm. it's a, the only thing is a noble thing. It's a very noble thing that people have destroyed. What light does a cow have? And I bought it. But if we went to the parliament who are telling sons, I want to bless you. Now I announce blessings, really. not based on the amount I've brought. Mm -hmm. Attitude of the Attitude. heart. Mm. Yaani mulio wako ni woka. Yaani umekuja ku. Mm. Yaani umenikumbuka. Mumekaa mm. mjini mumenikumbuka. Mkakuja. Mkaona na stahili heshima. Yaani mumeleta mm. watu wote kuja kuniheshimu. Mm. That parent will bless you on the basis of a merry heart. Mm. The heart is merry. Mm. But right now sir. Right now I'm even a mumenitusi. Mm. Mume complicate issues. You're not even considering my faith. Because I also have a faith. Mm. I have a culture. I'm a believer. Mm. I'm a Christian. I don't drink beer. So don't mention beer to me. I don't do the libation. Mm -hmm. So don't lead me to that. Mm. So the bit, we must redefine this Dawali thing. Because Dawali, in the, its original concept, has a lot of um, colonialism and you know slave trade thing mm, in it. manipulations and manipulations. all those stuff so so what you are saying our viewers is and uh, any parent and potential parent who is there is dowry should be a moment of honor we are coming to honor you as a parent acknowledging that surely there's something you've done number two it should be a moment of creating a relationship between the two families, not enmity, but relationship. So I think we need to redefine and rework these things, and that's why we are here to contend. I can see, uh, Reverend, uh, so many people are following up, and um, uh, I can see Tush, Ryan, uh, Shik, Jenny, you must become a woman first before you become a wife. Wow. Uh, long, long live the show. Um, I want us to end with this question that has come in. There's somebody who is a, it's called, it's called Priest John Minor. He's a pastor from Remnant of Christ, Karatina. Um, he's saying, in reference to honoring parents during dowries, kindly comment on balancing traditions versus biblical values, especially when the parents are traditionalists or their daughter is born again. So, Rev, what is your take on Kamunyuezo? Should we take Kamuratina and uh, honor those wazes or what should we do? Now, when you speak about contending, mm. contending is not negotiating. Contending is declaring your ground mm -hmm. with what I can call irreducible minimum. Mm. If I don't, let me say something. 
Already we have a lot of problem in this nation mm -hmm. on um, drug abuse. Yeah, and addictions. Addictions. Yeah. You know, drunkenness in many mm -hmm. families. Mm -hmm. And almost in every family, they are fighting drunkenness. Very few families mm -hmm. that have not this problem. Many of these things are bathed in these matters. Apparent desire to have sober sons. Mm -hmm. But there is a day they suspend, you know, their desire for soberness, they invite them. If I be in the tradition, as a young man, I said Christianity is a culture. Mm. We are not without a culture. So it is two cultures coming. If two cultures are coming to discuss, our culture must be firm, their culture must be firm. Now, if I am married to Christ, I adopt the culture of Christ. Mm -hmm. We come and ask, what do we share in common? And really my parents and everybody else. Mm -hmm. When we had the Gen Z pro protest and um, demonstration, there is this constant saying they were saying, the things they fear. Mm -hmm. They see it, they just to fear things. <laughs> Two things. Mm -hmm. One is God, the other one is marriage. marriage yeah. Those are the people talking about. Then you are staying at home, you are having a list of items that were um, written down by their ancestors who didn't have a crew of the kind of a generation you should be having now. Traditions are there. We also have our own tradition. Mm -hmm. So the people coming to negotiate, we should know how much ground are they receding? How much are they coming in? How much are we going in without compromising our faith? Mm -hmm. Why? I better go to heaven single than go to hell married. Mm. So, so the issue here is uh, we remember this show is called content. We content is to fight for you know our stand, our moral values, uh, biblical standards, and all that. Um, uh, so, on the issue of uh, pombe and all that, CCC were yo. Sisi ya tupereki pombe na tupeani pombe. So, but the, the, the other bit, Reverend, is this. So, can you quantify the, the pombe thing? The thing is, mm. now that you have lost in the definition of honor, mm -hmm. many dawalis are not honor. Mm -hmm. Their transaction meetings is a, is a business meeting. Mm. They are men from that side who are good negotiators in business. And our people coming. Mm -hmm. So this is, has nothing to do with the honor. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the honor. Hii ni malipo. Hii ni biashara. Tumekuja kuge mabaya ngombe. Na buzi. Na yu mabaya ingine. So, because you have lost in the concept. Mm -hmm. In the concept. Is when you are going to pay dawale with all these things. Hapa wakuna honor. Is a demand. So a demand that you must meet. So the thing is, this is what I would say. Nini wazazi, I don't eat this. Do whatever you want. At the end of the day, you shall not tell me to bring cows, literally cows. You shall not tell me to bring goods, literally goods. You shall quantify everything. Kaya ni chini. Mufanya maboyo yen. Nikikuja, give me the figure. Pale chini. Because I'm not buying your daughter. So I will not buy into your concept. Mm -hmm. I value my wife. Let me sit, tell you, sir. The thing that can hurt me so much, if I see my wife be, being taken for something, I never married her for. Today. Mm. So do your own calculation. If you say it one million, I will come and bring you know, 500,000, 200,000. You give me the balance. I don't want to know the balance. Because as for me, honor is continuous, is a lifestyle. And I will not even stop at one million. Because you tell me it is um, 500,000. Then Muse, my in-law, Agojeke. I'm a son. I come and say, you, my father, cannot die. Well, I have money. Mm -hmm. I come and pay, clear the bill, 300,000. Then upon it, I'm good. Then I come another day. 
Hiyo simu I brought that very day was nothing. Yeah, you make another kuna time. You know, I, 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 uh -huh. I, 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 Then it means I should now pay 300,000 as part of to 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 cut, to cut yange pale. Muna teremuka na hesabu. Let me summarize this way. Mm. Viewers, wherever you are. I'm a strong believer. People should honor parents and pay dowry. But the word pay bring the business concept. Mm -hmm. You cannot say you can't speak about paying without the business concept. Now, I come with the negoci negotiators. The the articulate, the pleasers. Mm. You know, there's who is who mm. who know how to negotiate and supply and oppress people. They, if you are able to oppress you, you continue. The thing is let us also look and redefine these all your contradictions. Mm. Thank you so much. I know your viewer, your, our viewers, your, our followers, uh, you're getting something out of it. I'm so grateful to see most of you online following us and following this discussion. It's an exciting discussion. It shall continue. This is a show that you cannot afford to miss. It's called Content Show. Every Monday from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. we shall be here. It's only that today we had a technical issue, so we started a little bit late. But for those who are asking, please extend the show. I think we have honored that, but we need to, you know, be getting out of this place right now. So, Rev, I want to give you one minute to look at that camera and, and, and give your final part, parting shot. Um, I echo my words again. Christianity is a culture. And um, it's a very serious culture. As much as people have um, the African and their traditional traditions and all that, we too in the faith, we have our own culture and tradition and we are very serious about it. The only thing that is um, displaying that you have no culture is because people have not become serious about it. So let's move out, redefine things according to our faith. We are contending for our faith. If we are not careful, we might lose what our fathers labored for. Our fathers showed us God, the Lord Jesus. So we are not seeking anything else. We are sticking there. So I pray that we shall contend for our faith. We shall honor parents and we shall do that which is biblical. If it is not biblical, it is wrong. God bless you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to God for giving us this opportunity this Monday to help you start off your week in the right footing. My name is Pastor Davis Moroki, your host for this show, Conted. Until we meet next Monday, God bless you so much and may you continue to contend for what you believe, contend for your faith, contend for your inheritance and anything that you believe God has given into your able hands. We must keep on fighting. So let's meet next Monday, same place, same time. God bless you so much. Thank you.